Hi, and welcome to Let's Bake and Cook Stuff. I'm Mary, and today I'm making a slow cooker pearl barley risotto. Yes, you heard that right. I'm making risotto in the slow cooker. We are starting with some veggies. This is three small carrots diced, and one small onion finely diced as well. This was eight ounces of cremini mushrooms, chopped. Half a teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of dried thyme. Okay, I'm gonna put the lid on to make it go a little bit faster. We're gonna let this cook for about, let's say three minutes. And then we'll be back. Okay, it's been three minutes. These mushrooms have given off quite a bit of their liquid. We're going to add, this is about a tablespoon of crushed garlic. I, I pressed it through a garlic press. And we're going to add one and a half cups of pearl barley that I rinsed. Let that go another couple of minutes. It's been two minutes. We're going to add one tablespoon of fresh squeezed lemon juice. And here I have one and a half cups of water and a half a cup of white wine. If you don't do wine, just use two cups of water. Wait, yeah, two cups of water. This is three cups of vegetable broth. Okay, we're gonna get this up to boiling, stirring occasionally, and then we're gonna be ready to put it into the slow cooker. Okay, this is boiling pretty good. I'm gonna stick it in the crock pot. I have sprayed this uh, crock, crock pot with olive oil spray just to make it easier to clean. Dumping all this in here. This would actually make a really good soup too, by the way. I'm gonna cover this crock pot. Oh, and I, I heated this crock pot ahead of time too. Uh, it's kind of a good idea to go ahead and heat your crock pot ahead of time when you're gonna be putting hot stuff in it, just to help it keep from cracking. I have never had that happen where I put hot stuff into a cold crock pot and it cracked, but you know, it makes sense, right? Anyway, three hours on high, and then we'll be back. <sighs> Time is up. Wait until you see this. This looks so good. It tastes phenomenal. It's not even done yet. I mean, it's done cooking, but I'm going to add a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. Leave that out if you want, because it's really good without it. And if you want to make it vegan, it, then just leave the cheese out. Or... Instead of using that, you can use nutritional yeast. A lot of vegans use nutritional yeast instead of cheese. And it's a, it's a cheesy, I've used it in other things, and it's, it's a cheesy tasting yeast that's been deactivated. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so good. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Okay, and just to add a little bit of color, a little bit of freshness, and a little bit of flavor as well, some fresh parsley on top, completely optional. You guys, this is so good. It's such a great replacement for a rice risotto and you don't have to stand over the stove and stir it. I don't know if you've ever made risotto, but you do have to stand over the stove and stir it the entire time. It takes like half an hour, 45 minutes to make it. But this was all done in the crock pot. That's what I'm talking about. Try this at home, let me know how you like it. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing to my channel. I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Have a great day.